All right, guys. Uh, today, you guys need to uh, do a little more digging around. Uh, we've talked about in the past about how you know it's no it's no uh, mystery that the government uh, from 1992 on is really pushing a low fat, higher carb diet. The question is how, why, why, why did that happen? How did that come to be? Uh, so uh, today's lesson, if you scroll down to uh, today's day, Wednesday, Thursday, uh, you should uh, find out what, what you guys are going to be doing. First of all, this is a typical uh, type of, uh, of, of commercial you might see uh, in regards to uh, our fear of fat. Uh, kind of fuels the fat phobia in our country. Uh, this link right here is going to take you to a Google document. Looks like this. What you guys are going to need to do is you're going to make a copy of it so that you can uh, type into it. Uh, make sure it's in your file. You guys are going to be uh, doing a read and say something. Uh, I trust that you guys will stick stick to the strategy because it will help you understand what's going on. Uh, so, again, one thing, if you want to know where this information comes from, this link right here, uh, the title actually has the link embedded in it. So you click on that. Uh, it's just a blog post I thought was interesting because it kind of highlights some of the history and the uh, underpin underpinnings and behind the scenes things that went on, uh, or I guess may have had an impact on uh, our current food pyramid and our current food system. Uh, so again, I want you guys to uh, do a read and say something. So you're going to read a paragraph, stop, check in, say something about what you just read, uh, move on to the next paragraph, read, read it, stop, check in, go around the table and say something. Uh, you're going to do that to complete the article. It's a little bit long, uh, but it's, it has some good information about it. Uh, this part right in here especially is pretty good because it's a quote from a lady who was actually involved in the original creation of our food pyramid and it's kind of interesting uh, what she has to say. So I want you guys to read and say something, read and say something all the way through to the end uh, and then uh, once you're done I want you guys to uh, complete a summary or a reflection, excuse me. Uh, what was your initial reaction? What did you think of it? Uh, any, any information that you're already familiar with or you knew that uh, was occurring in, in this uh, area of science and, and politics? Uh, something you may be curious about, want to know more about, interested in. Uh, again, this is a blog post, so it's not a formal writing, so the question is, why is this guy writing this, or, or you know, what, what's the motivation behind this? So on? Think, think a little bit and see what, what kind of biases do you think this person might have, uh, what's motivating them to do this. And then uh, a big thing I want you guys to pull out is what factors had a major impact on the development of the original food pyramid. Uh, there were, if you read it carefully, It'll talk about uh, changes that were made to it and why they were made to it. What were those societal pressures that were influencing uh, the changes uh, that came about? So again, that's what you're going to do with this. Then I've got a couple videos here I want you guys to watch right here. Uh, how fat and cholesterol got a bad rap. How bad science becomes, le becomes legislation and then gospel of truth. Because uh, again, this is another look at the impact of, of political agendas on science and research and application. Uh, and then when you guys are finished with that, uh, I want you guys to uh, click on your link, second or fourth blog, depending on what class it is. And this is going to take you to a Google Doc form, very similar to the one you guys did uh, a week or so ago in here. Uh, once it loads up, I'll pull it back up. But uh, it's got three videos, I believe, that you guys are going to take a look at. This one right here is not a video. It's just got some information I thought was interesting because it kind of ties into these two articles uh, or two videos that uh, you're going to watch later on. Uh, so again, uh, what you're going to click on here will be a Google form that has that has these videos embedded in it. So once you get there, click on it. Uh, I've got some questions for you guys to, to check out. I'm not sure why it's not loading right now, but it should hopefully load for you guys. Uh, my computer, oh, there it goes. My computer is being kind of slow. Here's the form. Uh, this first video is lowering the cholesterol is a good thing, right? I got some questions, a few questions here. Uh, another thing about causation and cor correlation. This guy's a research biochemist. Uh, kind of interesting. He makes a few good points. A few questions there. And finally, the last one. Read the question carefully, the prompt, and uh, answer it accordingly. All right. If you want this to be bigger, you can always uh, copy uh, the URL into a new tab to make it bigger for you. Or I've got them pulled out here. Uh, below that first link, these three videos correlate or correspond with the document you're watching. All right. Uh, once you guys have done that, uh, I want you guys to uh, put the Chromebooks back up and uh, get them plugged in and charge for the next class. 
I will we will discuss what you guys came up or what you guys uh, thought next time in class and get you guys caught up. Thanks.